my noodle arms cannot carry this. Hi everyone, it's May 5th. We're still in the middle of quarantine. It is super depressing. I'm still trying to get by. It's a, it's a real struggle, but we're getting through. I have gone on um, a pretty big shopping spree and I officially got one of my packages today. This package contains, I think, 16 or 17 albums and I spent way too much money on it, but you know what? <laughs> I'm excusing myself for this one time. There's my favorite group, EXO. And then there's also BTS and I have Eric. And there's also twice, it's not mine, but it's my friend's, but my friend is letting me open them. I have some albums already. These are the al <laughs> These are the albums I have. So I have Super M, Big Ken's album, BTS, which one is this one? Love Yourself, Tear, Big Ken's City Lights album, EXO's Don't Mess Up My Temple album, EXO's Coco Bop album, or sorry, the War album. And then I have this massive thing. Um, oh my. I need to wipe that down after. My hands are so dirty from the package that it made little like fingerprints on the back of this album. But this is BTS's um, Map of the Soul 7 album. It's fucking massive. I don't know who thought this was okay. Like, like this is a regular album. <laughs> Someone <laughs> who approved this. So I got more albums and we're gonna open them together because I have nothing better to do with my life. I. I'm really here doing nothing, so. Oh, I need something to do with my life or else I'm gonna end up buying more stuff and that's not gonna work out well for me, my bank account, and my mom. There's so much stuff in here. I have, I have no, um, apparently I have no brain cells either. Um, and before I start, let me just preface this with, it's Mitch Marner's birthday. <laughs> Big Maple Leaf fan, love him the most. He's 23. And then today in Korea is also Big Ken's birthday. So happy birthday, Kings. <laughs> okay, this is what it looks like. If I just pull the whole entire thing out, <laughs> this is what it looks like, y'all. <laughs> the clownery. Okay, right off the bat, the first thing that's in here is NCT 127 selfie book. We have Twice's Twice Coaster Lane 1. After that is Twice's Twice to Gram. And then after that, I have Exos, Exodus. After that, I have NCT Cherry Bomb. And both my friend and I um, pre-ordered <laughs> and got um, NCT Dreams uh, Frick Reload. So we got one of each version. Oh my God. Almost dropped it. Eric, oh my God, King. We have Boa, Kiss My Lips, Wavy. This is Take Over the Moon. Sorry, I don't know Wavy that well. <laughs> and then, oh my God, we have my EXO albums. We have EXO Obsession. And then I also got EXO's Universe album. I really want Kyungsoo's um, photo card where he just has like literally just his forehead on it. Oh my God, A Pink's, <laughs> A -Pink's look album. We have EXO's Exact album, BTS, You Never Walk Alone. You never walk alone. I also have, ooh, this is BTS's um, Young Forever album. What are these? I think they give us a bunch of posters. T, we gotta open these after. Speaking of Baechan and his birthday, <laughs> here's his massive, massive magazine. It's also in Korean. So I can't wait to not be able to read this. And then lastly, the last thing that's in here is EXO's photo, uh, photo book. Present the moment. Oh my gosh, this shit is big and it's heavy and it's just pure photos. So can't wait to open this one. Let's start with the, the posters because I didn't realize the package came with a poster. Okay, if this is humongous, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Oh, they are NCT posters, NCT dream posters. This is the, um, Rolling version of uh, NCT Dream's comeback. Can we just talk about Jamin? <laughs> He's so amazing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm guessing this is the other NCT poster. Yeah, <laughs> other NCT Dream poster for the writing version. Oh, they really do be like that. So we have those two. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I guess my friend and I will decide eventually. Let's start with 
let's start with the magazine. I recently just watched his um, interview for this magazine and it's, he's so freaking adorable. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, especially because it's so big and you can't really like stand it up or anything. So I guess I'll figure that out. But is there anything else? We're gonna restart basically. And I ended off, I think, looking at the magazine. Honestly, there was not much to show. He's handsome, period. Most of it's in Korean and I can't read it. So honestly, I don't know where to put it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It's just nice to have, cause he's so handsome. So the order that I will be reopening, <laughs> reopening all these albums are from smallest to biggest cause I have them stacked on my desk from biggest to smallest. But because I re- Anyways, <laughs> it's too complicated to explain. The thing is like all the photo cards I have already taken out. So I will try to like refine them. And don't get me wrong. I was so excited when I got these photo cards and like especially some members. So if I don't look as excited, it's one because I'm tired and it's two because I have seen them. And there's even one of them that I got from um, one of the albums, which was the Universe album from EXO. And I got a Big Hand photo card and it is now on the back of my phone. The first album that I will show is NCT 127's um, Cherry Bomb album. This album was, no was, is my second favorite album from them. Even though like I don't understand what they did with the lyrics because half the time the lyrics are, um, I don't know. I don't know what happened with this. Like please explain <laughs> or stuff like this just this cover this cover has a bunch of babies with cherries as their head and i don't know why sm decided that was a good idea but you know what they can do that because sm is rich as heck and for this album i got i got jayhen at first, I did not recognize it was Jaehyun because half his face is covered by his hand and his hair. <laughs> so I struggled to distinguish him. And then there's a little backside, but I once again, cannot read Korean. So my first song is definitely, definitely Summer 127. What a bop and a half. Like honestly, all the songs are amazing on that album. You don't skip a single song on that album, but if I had to pick one song of all of them, I would have to pick Summer 127. It's just an amazing summer bop. And it's almost summertime, so of course. The second album that I have is, what is this called? This is the Korean version of EXO, <laughs> EXO's Exodus. And I received the Min Sok version. Love him the most. He's in the military right now working very hard it's very small i didn't expect it to be this small and it's literally just all photos of him <laughs> which i thought was just gonna be the cover of him and then photos of the members inside but it's honestly just straight up him oh this one i was super happy about the photo card that i received was my bias my ultimate bias of all time every time my husband the love of my life kyung Su. isn't he so freaking adorable he is amazing and then on the back there's his very, very um, um, popular signature. Ugh. Very happy that I at least got one of Kyung Soo's photo cards. Super, super happy about that. So the next album that I have is BTS, which is actually so odd to go from EXO to BTS because I was originally... Uh, not originally. When I got back into K-pop, I was a BTS stan, but now it's like completely flipped and now EXO is my number one like group. BTS is, I still like stand BTS, but I'm not like a super, super big fan. Well, this is one of my favorite albums. It's the You Never Walk Alone uh, repackage, I'm pretty sure. And it contains Spring Day and um, Not Today. And then it also includes, uh, I'm pretty sure like the Blood and Sweat, Blood, Sweat, Tear album. This album compared to the Blood, Sweat, Tear album are so, so different in concept but i do love the boys they look handsome as always oh my gosh from this album i think 
I think I got my bias. I was right. Like how handsome he is. Holy crap. So cute. His signature is amazing. So adorable. I don't like BTS's photo cards because they low-key feel cheap. <laughs> They feel like a piece of paper. I don't know. I think this album is one of their best albums, to be very honest. Spring Day is literally the fandom song. Let Sweat Tears, very iconic. <laughs> Dance wise, song wise, everything wise for Let Sweat Tears. But I don't know. I just really, really, really love this concept. My favorite song from this era. <gasps> they had Save Me. I totally forgot about Save. They did not have Save Me. I'm actually delusional. Oh my gosh, what songs do they have on here? I don't remember. Oh, here we go. <gasps> Wings. Wings is my favorite song from this album. Such good songs. Oh, I remember everyone was freaking out about the performances because they were all wearing, well, not all of them, but um, Taeyong and Yoongi were wearing bandanas and everyone was freaking out about that. As I'm, Why am I saying that as if I wasn't freaking out as well? I was also freaking out. What a way to re relive my um, BTS stand days. After BTS, there is this man who I've seen in concert twice now. I've seen him, I think once, I don't know if it was 2016 or 2007. I think it was, two, I think it was actually 2018. I don't remember. I think, it, I believe it was 2018 I saw him. And then just this year, I saw him again, right before the whole COVID situation happened. So I saw him in person, Eric Nam. Oh my God gosh he is so handsome in real life you don't understand this man he's so talented he's like dancing he's singing he's like communicating with the fans this he is truly iconic if you don't stand eric nam you have to stand him because this man was really out here doing the most for his fans this album i'm pretty sure it was all in english which i did have an issue with but i only had an issue with him renaming one of his songs he i think i'm pretty sure it's honestly which was renamed into no shame for the english version and that really freaking bothered me but i'm just glad that he only performed the korean version at the concert or else i would have been pissed and i would not have a would not have uh, been singing along because I don't think anyone knows the English lyrics because all we know are the Korean lyrics. And thank God he knew that. From Eric's, we, I didn't, why am I saying we? I didn't get a photo card. I don't think he has photo cards. He actually had this, which looks more like a postcard than anything because on the back there are lines. But I don't know who would be sending this off because I'm keeping this, obviously. But once again, he looks so handsome. Oh my gosh. He's so much more handsome in person. Like, holy crap. I don't know who made that legal, but <laughs> Maya is really out here testing the limits. Also, I just realized I'm wearing the exact same thing from yesterday. <laughs> um, It's because I am a lazy bitch. So deal with it. <laughs> also makes everything look cohesive. Other than the fact that it's like a different time because I filmed yesterday at 2 p.m. and now I'm filming today <laughs> at 6 p.m. So next up is, the album just fell on my desk. Anyways, next up is NCT Dream's new album, Reload, which I have the rolling version, whereas my friend has the riding version and I'll show that afterwards. Very, very pretty. Oh, it looks so good. This whole album was, absolutely amazing there's not a song you skip on this album jamin really pulled through with the blue hair and for this album i received i received a jamin um circle card i think that's what they're called jamin circle card i think i got a Chen photo card but my friend said that we could switch because she got a Jamin photo card and I absolutely adore Jamin so much. He's so handsome. That's the back, he's the front. Oh my gosh, I remember when I opened up hers, mine and then hers, like when I originally filmed the unboxing, I opened them up back to back. And Jamin, we both got a Jamin circle card. The thing about the circle cards, the two Jamin circle cards was that he had two different hairstyles 
in them so i thought they were two different people and i was having ignorance i'm like why do they look absolutely the same but like they have two different hairstyles i'm so confused and i just realized oh i was like oh they're both jamin i'm actually so disappointed in myself i was like i really am out here being a clown i'm being a straight up clown do not regret buying this album because it's this album is amazing period stan nct1 nct dream <laughs> Oh my god, the clownery. <laughs> Whoops. Next up, we have EXO's Universe. The photo card is on the back of my phone at the moment, and it's Baekhyun. Very sad that I didn't hear <laughs> I will, oh, I will forever talk about that because Kyung Soo's head was literally the, the main part of this album. Oh my gosh. Honestly, this is this album looks wise and music wise amazing. I also got this. I don't know what this is called. Is it a postcard? I got a postcard as well with all, not all, what am I saying? With eight members because Lei is currently still in China. Kyung Soo's head is so round. <laughs> oh my God. I'm pretty sure everyone's favorite song from this album has been through. Like you cannot lie to me. It's been through. <laughs> Universe is also a freaking bop and a half for all the vocalists. Cause everyone in EXO is a vocalist truly stand this album anyways this one keeps moving and this is irritating me but the next album that's up is exo's exact album this is the korean version why does it say lucky one? Oh, it's a lucky one version as well oh was there a monster version i just realized you know what i i'm happy with the um i'm very happy that i got the lucky one version there we go the only thing I don't like about this album is that it's white. I'm pretty sure this is the only EXO album that is white. All of EXO's albums are literally black. <laughs> they are black and then you have Coco Bop, which is, or The War, which is the color of the rainbow. The, which photo card? Okay. I think, yes, Junmin. Jun, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I am Viet, so. I cannot pronounce things for my life. He looks like he got beat up. Let's be real. I, I guess that's a styling for the photo card. He's a listing. Oh my God, y'all. I'm crying. <laughs> There's no tears, but like I'm crying. The last EXO album, EXO album that I have is their new album, Obsession. I'm, uh, I'm gonna say this first and foremost. I hate the packaging of this album. It is one of these albums where you have to open it up and then you have four freaking, not four, like seven different booklets in here. I'd rather just have get like one book hardcover rather than six soft cover booklets. Oh, and I got the, I got the, I think the EXO version. I got the Obsession version. There's not much else to say about that. Ooh, but once again, I don't know why, but like for this, like all the, all the, from all of the EXO stuff I got, I keep getting Jun, Junmyeon so often, but he looks so good in red hair. Like, let's be real. Man looks fine as heck. Here's the back. So good looking. And I think I also got his poster. Let me just double check. I was like, wow, I'm gonna get such a variation of all these like EXO members. As I'm really said, ha, bitch, you thought. I think this is the poster. And yes, I was correct. <laughs> oh my gosh he looks too serious in this kind of scares me i'm gonna put that away music wise this album is unreal there we used another word wow <laughs> expanding my vocabulary they definitely tested a lot of different genres with obsession which i thought was an amazing move on I guess SM's part because SM like helped produce, form, create, I don't know, this album. But package wise, I don't like it. And that's saying a lot because I love EXO so, so much and I support everything they do. But SM, what is wrong with this packaging? We are coming up to the, I think the only, yes, the only girl group album that I got, which is A Pink. Now, people are probably like, your only the only girl group that you got is a pink and it's not twice and it's not blackpink or red velvet and i'm like yes 
because A Pink, oh my gosh, I love all these girls. Um, this is their ninth mini album. I cannot believe that. Honestly, they're all hags. <laughs> they're all so old. They've been in the industry for so long. I really do love this album. I love the concept. I love Dum Dum, which is the title track of this album. I like that this album is magnetic. So it actually closes because my fr uh, my friend purchased a Twice album and it has the same type of cover but it's not magnetic so it does not close properly which kind of pisses me off but I'm happy that a pinks actually does close. Hopefully you guys can actually see it because like the light is kind of fucked up because it is 6.30 p.m. now. <laughs> I received Nyan's photo card and she is so pretty. Oh my god. But I don't know what she wrote on the back. That is like a whole ass scribble. But she is absolutely gorgeous. I also received, I think this is like supposed to be a stand of some sort. Unji, who is my bias. <laughs> and I also received this photo card with Namju, Nayan, and Hayoung. Oh, they look so pretty. And this is for Love is the Love is Blind promotion for one of the songs on the album. Oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't get over how pretty A Pink looks. They're honestly stunning and their vocals are always on point. So, love the girl so much. Okay, the last album that I received is a BTS. BTS's. BT, BTS's? Young Forever, which I decided to get instead of the most beautiful moments, beautiful moments in life part one or two because it combines both one and two and then also fire and save me which are absolutely amazing songs and wings no i'm actually stupid wings is literally the other album i pulled up from um bts um the other song is young forever young forever is also an iconic song that's one of my favorite songs from bts so is i need you i need you is my favorite track favorite title track um alongside um run and yeah this album <laughs> opens from the side which i'm like okay but like <laughs> it's gonna fall i mean i could say about that about like any albums that have a slip which this is a slip and i prefer this because it's a hard slip so it's much easier to put in and take out it's so weird having it on the side instead but it it is a very cute concept. I love all the songs from this album. It truly was one of the best eras from BTS for sure. And this is this was, I f believe, the album that solidified me as a BTS fan back in high school. <laughs> I don't think I got a photo card per se, but I got this Jimin, Jimin, Jim, Jimin or. I feel like I just went to like the whole Korean population. Whoops. Anyways, I got this instead, which is honestly adorable. And my friend is going to be so jealous because she's a big Jimin stan. She loves Jimin with all her heart. It looks absolutely adorable. And there is that. That's my last album from the stuff that I bought. Now, the last thing that I bought from K-Town For You is this massive photo book from um from exo <laughs> i did not realize how heavy this photo book was and how big it was because it is bigger than bts's map of the soul 7 which is humongous by the way but it's not as big as the magazine the magazine is on another level but i just have like a hundred pages of pure exo photos like that <laughs> which i love and i was literally i was going through um all the photos yesterday and i was ecstatic 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 something like that i adore the photo shoot it looks so happy i'm just sad that lay was not involved when you're in xol you just suffer period but this was definitely um a really good buy oddly enough it's humongous and um it doesn't have anything of anything regarding songs but i just have a big photo book of exo i just wanna savor that <laughs> 
And then I also received, they weren't photo cards, but they are these two, I guess they're like kind of like see-through, translucent. I don't even know what they call to call these, but images of the members. And look, they literally, they honestly separated them by the tallest ones in EXO and the shortest ones in EXO. Because all the short bitches be in this photo and all the tall bitches are in this one. I some really clown them like that. But it's so cute. They look so happy and look like they're enjoying their time. And I, that's all I want from EXO, other than music. <laughs> other than music. I just want them to be happy. Now that I have gone through all of my albums and photo books and other things that I bought from K Town for You, including the Big Chun magazine, I want to go through my friends because I got her permission and she's letting me do that because why not? When I originally opened her packages, I did not know the names of the TWICE members, nor did I know the names of the WAVY members. So please bear with me as I butcher and try to figure out which member is which because I am apparently uncultured in other groups. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a very deep dive. Not that my other, my analysis of my own were deep or whatnot, but um, I'm just gonna go through hers quickly. So she got um, the NCT 127 selfie book, which contains photos from when they participated in NCT Life. It has so, so many Im um, unseen images um, from their trips and everything. They look absolutely adorable. It's very tiny. It, like it literally fits in my hand, which I can't say a lot of things do. That sounds a little bit sexual. Or did I just make it sexual? This is very cute. And I think it was cheap as well. I think it was only $8. Here we go. We're moving on to Twice and um, I struggle. So she bought Twice's twice to gram which I think has Likey. I'm almost certain that, oh my gosh, I'm actually dumb. Oh, so I'm going on the back. It has Likey. And I didn't realize that the cover is plain because you receive stickers inside and you can decorate it yourself. I think that's such a cute concept. And, but the only issue that both my friend and I have about this album is that it only contains three members of the, does Twice have nine or eight members? Oh my gosh, I'm really uncultured with Twice. But th this is what I was saying about this album. The fact that it opens, but like it closes like this and it doesn't really stay. Her photo cards were, oh gosh. I do not know who this is. I, I'm so sorry, but I do not know who this is. She's very pretty. Seen her a lot. Is this Dahyun? Dahyun? Da? I think this is her. Oh my gosh. If I'm wrong, my friends are gonna be so pissed at me. Not pissed, but maybe they'll clown me for a little bit. And then, is this also, is this also da, Dahyun? I'm very confused. Oh my gosh. This is, Oh my gosh, what's her name? Oh, it's on the back. Perfect. Jung Jung Yun. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad with Korean names, but she's so pretty. And then, oh, please tell me why it comes with like a literal CD, but it has Momo on it. But usually CD, like the CDs are attached to the album. This is, this is something else. I've never seen that before. And that was twice as twice to gram. I was like, I literally said, I'm not gonna go do a deep dive. And I really just did a deep dive. We got three more, three more of her albums to go through. I'm just gonna quickly go through them. Here is Boa. <laughs> Boa, kiss my lips. Boa looks amazing. Boa, it's literally all Boa, period. That is all you need to know. It's all Boa. Personally, I don't know any of these songs. <laughs> I love how I'm like, it's a great album, but I don't know a single song on this album. But I just know Boa is the queen? Is she the queen of K-pop? Or is she the princess? Or is that IU? You know what? I still don't know. She is something of K-pop. But she's super talented. If you don't see Boa, see Boa. Because we all need Samboa. <laughs> okay. And now we have NCT Dream Reload. The photo card just flew out. Okay. I just realized. In my A-Pink album, I also got an AR card which had Bomi on it. So cute. Bomi. And because my friends really, really loves Bomi, I decided to give it to her and I left it in the reload. The reload, her reload, her version of reload. 
Oh, they all come with um posters as well. Forgot to mention that because I forgot to open it. They also come with um wristbands or like a ticket for some of them. Um, I believe I got Hichen and she got Chanle. I'm not gonna open them because I am losing patience and time. And see, here's the Hichen photo card. So cute. Oh my god. He looks tiny. He looks like a baby. Also, this is an awkward hand movement for me. And this is the other- okay, this is the other Jamin one. I thought they were two different people just because his hair styled differently. <laughs> oh my god. Last but not least, we have Wavy's Take Over the Moon. <laughs> Once again, not- I'm not very familiar with Wavy even though, um, like I like most of the members because I like NCT and whatnot. Oh my gosh, the sun is really bothering me now. And she received Win Win, which is her bias amazing a 10 photo card oh my god yes king is that it was she i think she was <gasps> and then a circle card okay i think this is yang yang because i'm pretty sure she told me this is yang yang but if i'm wrong do not come for me <laughs> i mean y'all could because like whatever but once again i don't know um one thing i can say about this album because there is about like three things that I know about this album. Love Talk is a sexy, sexy song. Like it's super sexual. It's overly sexual. I don't know who allowed that to be on this album. SM really making the most out of their um their idols, huh? <laughs> now I am finally, 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 finally done reviewing my albums for the second time without actually opening them for the first time what am i saying i actually opened them oh my gosh i am so tired i need to go to sleep thank you for dealing with my mess of a life even though i just opened albums i literally did not show you any of my life oh my gosh i am losing it but i'm probably gonna buy some more albums and then i'll open them and then my friend <laughs> My friend, not my friends. I do not have friends multiple. I have a friend. My friend Daisy also wants me to put more vlogs up. But the thing is, nothing's happening in my life other than work and uh, being at home. So we'll see what ends up happening. I'll probably do some more like K-pop or like hockey stuff because I love hockey. Anyways, <laughs> that's besides the point. Thank you for watching. Glad that you actually watched this entire video because I honestly would not. Hope you enjoyed me struggling for a good couple minutes and I'll see you next time. Ubu. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I said ubu on camera. I, I need to be stopped. <laughs>